as to serve. 13 aces across his previous five games for Yuji Nishida. Yuki Ishikawa has been lively throughout. Japan will look to him for creativity and big hitting. Last five seconds and we are underway at the Yoyogi National Stadium for the final match of the penultimate day. Yuji Nishida's left hand immediately on display here. Here we go. Apologies from Nishida to his teammates, not the start he wanted. There will be a few nerves around, of course. Dejan Vincic, who's the setter for Slovenia, was replaced early by Uros Planasic yesterday, but he's regained his place ahead of the top of the table tussle, or near top of the table tussle. Pan getting this one away sharply. Sakita targeting Taishi Onodera alongside him. Onodera doesn't miss opportunities like that. Two serves in a row, one from Nishida and one from Rad Takahashi that have failed to put Slovenia into play. Tough serving start for Japan. Next to serve for them will be Tine Unout. Plays his volleyball here in Japan for JTEC Strings in Korea. That's K-A-R-I-Y-A, one of the Japanese cities. Question mark over this one. Point given to Slovenia. And that's why. Just behind the line, a groan around the stadium. Now, is there a video challenge here? There is. The block touch is what they're hoping for. None of the Slovenian players have put a hand up. Normally what happens with the video evidence coming in. They've all uh, stayed quiet at the moment. Hoping that the video evidence supports their lack of guilt in this uh, point. Philippe Blau is looking over towards Ishikawa. They wait for the challenge to come in. Was there a block touch here from one of the Slovenian players? No, there wasn't. Challenge overturned. Slovenia had the early lead in the opening set. Three points to one. Will now serve again. Sakita. It wasn't hit cleanly by Onodera. Now look at this. Slovenia have got up an early head of steam. And they've silenced the Yoyogi National Stadium spectators with this electrifying start. 4-1. The announcer trying to encourage the fans to get involved. Good looking serve. We've got another one. The whistle went as soon as the serve went over. And there was an error in rotation, I think, for Japan. We can't afford to make simple mistakes like that and concede points. 5-1. Timeout taken by Japan after a really disappointing start. Let's listen in. I think he's good. Serve, serve first. Write the reserve, and I'll tell you we make four. Okay, that's wrong, that's wrong. But okay. first, you have to find, find the ball to the way. Okay? Fired up by Philippe Bland's words, I'm sure. Early in the first set. Long way to go, best of five. Tomohiro Yamamoto is the libero for Japan wearing the white shirt. Set of Sakita there. Slovenia off to a great start, 5-1 and serving. Here's Sakita, backcourt attack, blocked and good blocking. 
from Slovenia. Nothing going Japan's way here. Back set from Sakita. And it was Alan Payank who got on the end of it. 203 centimetres tall, place for Olympiakos in Greece, and he really enjoyed that moment. First monster block of the game. On we go again. Well, that's gone straight back to Slovenia's side of the court. It's going from bad to worse for Japan. Kept the point alive there, and they've got a block. And they've got a point. And a side out comes at last. They had to fight for that one. 2-6. So, now some serving magic required. And it's uh, Taishi Onodera. Normally goes for the slower ball. Let's see what he's got here. Under control for Slovenia. And fired home. Really good finish. 101 kilometers per hour on the spike. Ball with the hit. No, it was Mo Mozic, my apologies. Rock Mozic with the hit there. And need another side out. That is going out of play. Watched all the way by Yamamoto. Sakita down the centre and it pinged back and over and out. Rand getting hold of this one. To wait for the rebound to land long before they celebrated the point. 3 7. Sakita's serve. Well, that's awkward for Slovenia coming from the back of court now. Now, chance for Japan. Get another one. Round again. Nails it. And wheels away in celebration. 108 kilometers per hour here for Ran. Nothing that Tine Un out at the back could do about this. Travelling too quickly. Great play, ran in full flight. 4 7. Looking good for Slovenia here. Rescued. Can they convert? Nishida puts it away. Within two. Good looking fight back from the host nation. Five seven. Sakita again. Score an ace in the game yesterday when they defeated Serbia. There's a joust going on there, and it's Slovenia's point. Rock Mozic getting involved. Had the physical advantage over Ishikawa. Mozic serving now. Eight five. Sakita backtracks, little dummy spike. Great disguise there from Japan. We'll close the gap to two. It's all happened so quickly. Ishikawa was the one who took it on after Kentaro made the dummy spike. Ishikawa comes up short with the serve, needed that to count really. Gifts a three point lead back to Slovenia. And uh, Clement Chebel is getting ready. Six aces in the tournament so far for Chebel, 31 year old, plays in Poland in professional volleyball. Sakita goes mid court. Good work from the Slovenian Libero. Oh, they've rescued the point. Yamamoto has to poke it over. Advantage Slovenia here. And they've nailed it. Kovacic did really well. The libero for Slovenia during that point to get his body behind the ball. Great start for Yanni Kovacic, 21-year-old libero. 10-6, Slovenia lead. Kovacic underneath it, but could only guide it back to Japan's side of the court. But Ran missed. Unforced error from Ran. Rush of blood to the head as he climbed above the net. He had acres of space. Philippe Blatt trying to see the funny side of it all, but it's going to hurt. A 
five point lead again for Slovenia whose team are on their feet watching this first set unfold they could get another one here blocked yeah first monster block for Japan Kentaro Tekahashi involved great timing pinged it down onto the head of Chibble left hand of Kentaro doing the damage another block and it's on the line this time Taishi Onodera scores on the block the hit from Tine Urnout Onodera in the way Kentaro again with the serve Oh, it's not great. Pushed over. Sakita reacts well. Here's the set. No, fired long, fired long. Japan can't make mistakes like that. They score a couple of points. They get back within three. And then, of all the people you expect to hit the target, Yuji Nishida hits it really thick and sends it long. Slovenia so will take this. Kozimanic ready to serve. Near side, this time Nishida makes no mistake. 23 year old left hander with great timing here. And he gave Chebel no chance. 104 kilometers per hour. Nishida's turn to serve. They need some aces from him to bring them back into contention in this opening set. It's a good serve. Not ideal for Slovenia here. They'll have to rebuild. A couple of players going for the same ball and another block. Three blocks in quick succession. That one from Onodera. Fingers of his left hand getting the block completed. Within two, 10 12. Yoshida will hope for more success behind this serve. Second time in this opening set, he misses. Philippe Blair's nervous, isn't he? The head coach of Japan. Slovenia made such a storming start. Vincic to set it with the serve. Sakita in position. To the back of court. Held up. Lifted forward. And that's out of reach. Silence around the arena again as the Slovenians regain their four-point advantage. Courtesy of Urnaut. an awkward pass but they're back in business here and Nishida comes flying through to deliver back set beautifully played by Sakita and Nishida right behind it grand serve is an ace And Takahashi causing confusion on Slovenia's side of the court with a fabulous ace, 107 kilometers per hour. Just two behind now. Ran goes again. It's a bit awkward here for Slovenia. It's not a great set from the Libero, but they make the most of it. Kovacic just put that a little shallow, but Mozic was there got away from the two blockers which have been confounding Slovenia in the last two or three attacks going nicely here for Slovenia 15-12 they lead and serving well left Japanese players and fans celebrating everything that goes their way a miss serve from Slovenia gap is two again Onodera, slower ball from him, 
They interrupted. It was a call of out, but it was played. Underneath it, there's a joust. That is off Ishikawa and into the stands. Slovenia not panicking. Got the early lead in this opening set and they've maintained it. Payank is ready to serve. Two Japanese players on the floor. Ball back on Slovenia's side of the court. Oh, what a, what a dig that was from Yamamoto. Can they get the point? They can. Unbelievable heroics from Tomohiro Yamamoto. This save, absolutely sensational. And then the final touch was pretty straightforward for Kentaro Takahashi. And he acknowledges the part that his libero played in that point. Sakita serves. 16. Straight back to Japanese hands. Chance here. Slammed home off the chest of Yanni Kovacic. And Japan are knocking on the door now. Just one point behind. Ishikawa unloading on the left. Slovenia's lead has been slimmed down to a single point. They've taken a timeout. They are already three situations because in the previous it was the same. They are following also if Nishida there, okay? Anyway, you are one against one there. You have to fix this. But they follow. Aya, attend now. Watch out the shorter serve. Huh? Watch the head. Anticipate again. Anticipate. The scoreboard's showing 16 all. I thought it was 16 15, but 16 all is what we're being told. So, Japan will be happy with the way things have uh, developed. The scoreboard's gone away. I think it might just return with an adjustment. Here we go with Sakita serving. That's right on the net. Yeah, that was the right score. I was right 15 16. And now it's level 16 all. The scoreboard just got ahead of itself and gave Japan an extra point. They've fixed it now as the ball pings from hand to head on Slovenia's side of the court. Sixteen all. Japan were five behind at one stage. Right back in business in this first set now. Over the top. Sakita moves forward sharply, and that is another one for Yuki Ishikawa. All of a sudden, Slovenia being outplayed in every department. A slow start for Japan. They are ahead for the first time in the game. Sakita floats another one over. Looks good for Slovenia. Yamamoto does brilliantly again. Ishikawa puts it down. Oh, it's the Ishi Ishikawa show at the moment. Yuki Ishikawa is on fire here. What a shot. Incredible strength without much swing on the ball to put that one away for a winner 18 16 the gap is two make that one as japan hit back with rock mozic that wasn't mozic my apologies it was uh, stalaka sazo stalaka the 27 year old plays in berlin one point behind there's an ace from slovenia First ace of the game from the Slovenian side, and they're level at 18 all. 
And that was hit by Rock Mozic. 114 kilometers per hour. He's going for another one. Comes up short. A mixed bag from Mozic. An ace and then a, an error on serve. Japan edge in front again, 1980. Yuki Ishikawa lining up the next one. Down the line. Up towards the floodlights. And good enough for Slovenia to get level. No, it's Japan's point. It's Japan's point. 2018. They gathered around Mozic to congratulate him, but the ball was called out. Japan too clear again. Ishikawa with one behind serve. Looking for another. He might get it. He does. 21-18, Japan have a three-point lead for the first time in the game. Ishikawa has been the star of the show for Japan. Kentaro with the simplest of finishes. Let's check in on Slovenia here. Well, what a start to this game. It's living up to expectations with Japan launching a fabulous fight back. They were outclassed in the first 10 points of the game. Now look at the scoreboard. 21-18 they lead. Japan about to serve again through Yuki Ishikawa. His third attempt at serve. Can he get three points from his contribution? Where's this going? There's a joust. Down. Slovenia make the most of that. Bit of physicality at the net. It was a mismatch, wasn't it? 19-21. Vincic is going off to be replaced by Uros Planasic. And uh, the youngster comes on as well. Nick Mujanovic, just 18, had such an impact yesterday. These two, so they are hoping for a similar outcome here. Well, they lost the game 3 0 despite coming on and uh, 3 1, I beg your pardon, despite coming on and uh, making an impact. They were playing the top team in the pool, the USA. 22-19, another serve, goes long, and it's time for Kai Masato to make an entrance, he's done this regularly throughout the week, sometimes with great success, sometimes with a bit of an anti-climax, but we'll see what happens this time, Kai Masato, the 20-year-old outside hitter, with the serve. sure that that's the right tactic. Hanasato's young, inexperienced, and there are better servers available to Japan. I think that the number of times Masato has been successful coming on has been overshadowed by the number of times he's missed. Two points in it. Pan on the attack here. Ball trickling along the top of the net and put away. No, no, no says uh, Taishi Onodera and there's going to be a row now what was the issue here we need to see a replay perhaps there'll be a video challenge The score stays like that. The gap is just one when a few moments ago it was three in favour of the host side. Still smiling and on we go. No video challenge. Point has been awarded to Slovenia who side out and serve. Making sure of the serve as well. Oh, too good. Yuji Nishida provides a bit of relief for the Japanese fans as he delivers this. What a set that was, the back set from Sakita covering the width of the court and there with exquisite timing, 
was Yuji Nishida. Put them two clear and two away from securing the opening set. Nishida's left-hand serve is in. Here's the set. Oh, it's picked up at the back. Full stretch. Oh, what a point. Ishikawa is in a different league this evening in Tokyo. It was his pickup at the back, off his fingertips, and then he switched his momentum and came charging in to take Japan to set point. They lead 24-21. Nishida is going to come back to Japan's side of the court. They can win this first set right here, and they do. Ran with the final point, 25-21. An unbelievable first set of volleyball at the Yoyogi National Stadium. And look how much the Japanese fans are enjoying this. Absolutely sensational comeback from the host nation after a stinging first few points when they were nowhere to be seen they have taken the opening set with four points to spare 25 to 21 and at one point they were five points behind a remarkable turn of events how good was that this is why we love volleyball a packed arena incredible athleticism drama suspense and ultimately Japan taking the opening set by 25 points to 21 if you're watching this well wherever you're watching this around the world I'm sure you'll agree that was one of the best sets we've seen all week 25-21, just one ace for each side, Slovenia helping Japan along with a, a number of errors, five blocks, the blocking that Japan started to produce midway through the opening set really brought them back into contention. Everybody's catching their breath for a moment. Take a look at some of the data, receiver accuracy for Slovenia. And for Japan, second contact signified by the, uh, the blue. For those of you who love your stats and data, you'll be lapping this up. What was... Uh, the most important thing was how much theatre there was during that opening set. Absolutely magnificent. And look at this guy, Yuki Ishikawa. Well, well, well. Mozic with five points in the first set. Good contribution from Rock Mozic for Slovenia. Got himself an ace as well. The only ace from Japan's side of the court came from Ran early on. Japan just with muted celebrations between the sets. They know that uh, they need to just maintain their level of intensity. A couple of times they've been caught out during this Olympic qualifying tournament. Firstly, when they had match point over Finland, ultimately winning that 3-2. And then they were, when they were 2-1, two 2-0 one, two up over Egypt and ultimately lost that game. That was the big shock result. And that came on Sunday. Sunday 7.25 game. The fans left with their heads in their hands. Many in tears. Extraordinary scenes as Egypt scored one of the biggest wins in uh, the history of Egyptian volleyball. 
overcoming the host nation and the world number five side coming from two sets to nil down on Sunday. But that's all forgotten about now. And we're seeing a much greater level of intensity and commitment from Japan. It was apparent yesterday in their 3 0 demolition of Serbia. They were taking nothing for granted. So far today, on this Saturday at the Olympic qualifying tournament, Finland defeated Tunisia 3 0. Turkey overcame Egypt 3 1. The USA beat Serbia 3 0. This is the fourth and final game of the penultimate day. And I feel privileged to have been watching it so far. I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are here at VBTV. Second set about to get underway. Slovenia in blue will be hitting from left to right. Japan took the first set 25 points to 21. Let's see what's on offer in the second set now. Here we go. Slovenia opened the action in the second set. And Ran earns the first point. Oh, in fact, that was out. I thought Ran might have hit the back of the line here, but it was long, as you can see. So, Slovenia get the first point of the second set behind serve. And immediately the crowd get involved. Loose serve from Kermit Jabal. Who's next serving? It's uh, Kentaro serving for Japan. Ooh. Awkward one for Slovenia. The block is wide. Car walks back, picks up the ball. Sasho Stalaka, Berlin based number 10 for Slovenia with the Serb. Sakita, Brandt. He's missed again. And Slovenia are 3 1 clear, two unforced errors from Ran Takahashi. He's feeling the heat out here now. Slovenia in the same position at 3-1 up as they were in the first set before they ultimately lost it. Japan lead points here. There's one. Heishi Onodera. Onodera on Sakita's shoulder. And the block pinged wide. Pan side out, and it's uh, Nishida's turn to serve. That's a gem of a serve right to the back of court. Brought forward now by Slovenia, and they convert. That's a fine point from a tough position. Kovacic did well from the back of court. On the angle, away for a winner. From Tine Urnout. Well left. Vincic sends it long. Vincic replaced late in that first set with the setting duty. He's been back in business now. Japan serve. Hit the top of the net and then stayed on Japan's side of the court. This hasn't been a great start to the set for Ran. Two unforced errors at net, and then a service error. Japanese fans will be hoping that this is just a, a temporary fault for Ran Takahashi. He's underneath that one well. Sakita over the top, and off the block and away. Japan score. And the gold inflatables working overtime. Inflatable drumsticks that they're all hammering around the stadium. Collectively, they make a, a thunderous noise. Next serve in. 
from the men in red. Here's the set for Slovenia. Blocked. Level. Kentaro Takahashi towering above the net to make this block. In fact, I think Sakita might have had a, a finger on the ball as well. The shortest man on the court. 175 centimetres. Masahiro Sakita. He can play good net ball, though. The setter for Japan. All square. From 3 1 down to 5 all. That's not great for Slovenia. They're going to have to just gift this back over to Japan. Sakita over the top. Ran. Ran makes up for the earlier errors with a little bit of individual genius. The disguise on this was wonderful. As if he was shaping for the big shot. Fooled all the Slovenian players. Just tapped it over for a winner. Off the net. Slovenia in better shape here. And that brings them level. Struck well by Slovenia's number 18, Chebol. Six all, second set. First set to Japan, 25-21. In this race for the second qualification spot for the games of Paris 2024 wide open spaces there intelligent play from Yushi Ishikawa saw the gap and went for it Sakita's serve doesn't miss many, Sakita. Even has an ace to his name from this tournament. His serving round ends quickly. As Slovenia send this via Ishikawa's finger up the line for a winner. But Mozic with the point. And now with the serve. Italian-based Rock Mozic. Sends that one onto the line for an ace, his second ace of the game. The ace, ace, jingle playing, but the Japanese fans aren't too keen to get involved when it's an ace for Slovenia. Slovenia back in front, 8-7, Mozic again. Bit of both there from Rock Mozic. Kawa stays on Japan's side of the court. Raucous celebrations for the Slovenians every time they score a point. They've got themselves back in front here. Good looking serve. Up and away, here we go, Slovenia with a chance to go two in front. And that's what's happened. Slovenia take the point. Japan come together in a huddle for some discussions about how to proceed from here. Slovenia have that two point advantage, 10-8. Net touch called on the way down actually against uh, Kentaro Takahashi. Yamauchi is coming on. Akihiro Yamauchi, the number six, 29-year-old, the captain of the Panasonic Panthers. There's another ace. What a serve that was. Absolutely brilliant from Clement Chabot. Japan. I've called a timeout, 11-8 behind. Guys, the most you can do in this moment, the all the bad situation in the opponent, you have to be more precise. When you decide to take block, uh, you take the diagonal when the ball is short. All the deep, the ball push, defend outside, you have to keep all this ball to, to take it. Because this is a weak point from this team. Uh, go, 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 go. Allez, come on. Go. Go.
Three points behind. They've already been 3 1 down in the second set. Managed to fight their way back in. Yamauchi's been brought on to try and uh, change the scene for Japan here. Replacing uh, Kentaro Takahashi. 11 8 Slovenia lead, looking for more. Japan need the side out here. Oh, they've hit that thick and far and long. Now there'll be potentially a video challenge here. Now it's been it's been overturned. Nishida knew he'd struck the Slovenian hand on the way through. And ultimately that hand went up and said, yes, it was me. Japan get the point. 9-11, the uh, realisation is just reverberating around the arena now. Yamauchi is served, blocked, and away. One point separates them. So the way things have worked out, you have to give credit to the coach. Philippe Blanc, who called the timeout on Adera's block, went up and over. And a point for Japan. So Philippe Blanc called the timeout. They won the next two points to get within one. 10 11. Yamauchi again. Put it too thick that time. Akihiro Yamauchi's just come on. And he goes off. Very, being replaced by Tomohiro Yamamoto, the libero. go. So keeps having to cover a lot of ground. That wasn't great. Oh, very nearly found the back of the court. Tipped over. Alive. Oh, what a point for Japan to win. Ran. Springs into action. To save what seemed to be a certain point for Slovenia. Ran from a standing start. Fires it home. Nishida. Nishida gets an ace. Japan are back in business in the second set. And look what it means to this capacity crowd. Nishida top ace server in the Olympic qualifying tournament. That's number 14. 12 all. It's all been Japan since they took that time out. Has he got another one? It's alive, it's down. Well played, Slovenia. Making something out of nothing there, Alan Payenk. Slovenia get the point. Don't quite know why they're arguing with the first referee, Euros Mokri. Nishida, an ace a moment ago, and then he delivers with that big left arm spike. Massive swing, look at that. <laughs> Great to see Nishida in full flow. 13 all. Dealt with nicely by Kovacic for Libero. Sent forward, that's the cross. Bit of space to move here for Slovenia, and that one's up into the grandstand. The spike speed, 102 kilometers per hour. Having a lot of ground. Yamamoto gets involved. Here's the spike from Yama. From Ishikawa. All square again. And need Ishikawa to start delivering in this second set. He's been a little quiet. Hasn't had a lot of service. Now perhaps in this position, on this rotation, he can start to contribute. 14 all. 
on Adair, Taishi on Adair as serve. Slow ball from him. Set. Finchuk did well. Interruption. Whistle's gone. Slovenia's point. Double touch called against one of the Japanese players. And Juraj Mokri asking the players to disperse. Double contact against Yuki Ishikawa, I think. Fifteen fourteen, Slovenia side out. Getting towards the business end of this second set now. Ishikawa. Extra energy into that spike after he was penalised on the previous point. First hit and third hit for Ishikawa. Four square. Dean all in the second. First set to Japan, 25-21. Chance to go ahead here. Ran becomes the setter. Yoshida can't finish it off. It'll have to cross here. They're underneath it again. Sakita. Oh, yes. Yuji Nishida with a beauty. Back set from Sakita. Nishida in the right place with beautiful timing. Timeout taken by Slovenia. Let's listen. Hey, this one, this side up, okay? Doesn't matter how. Anticipate there, we put the ball down and we go to the next. Watch out, guys. I have until now the outside hitters and this guy back. How we talk when it's important, he's going with them there. Okay? Hi, attention. Georgie Kretu, the coach of Slovenia, is remaining, hence the common language is English. Japan ahead by one. 16-15 they lead. Will the timeout bring rewards for Slovenia? Sakita's serve. Underneath it again. They can score another one here. Picked up at the back by Kovacic. Well done, Slovenia. This looks good. And, oh no. Japan get the call from the referee. Can we see that again? I'm not exactly sure what went on there, but it was right underneath the referee's position. The gap is two. They've changed setters now. Planasic is coming back on. Vincic takes a break. Net touch, I imagine, called against one of the Slovenian players. Sakita, 17-15, Japan leader by one set to nil. Too good that time. Beautiful finish from Chabul. Fan of Chabul with lots of points alongside his name in this game. That's an ace. An ace for Mozic. His third of the game. Japan watching this one sail by. And it got the outside edge of the line. Mozic goes again. 17 all. They were two behind a moment ago. Back in the frame now. And go one in front here with a good finish from Chibol. He's blocked. They'll try again. Too good that time. Slovenia lead. Things have started to happen since they took their time out. Chibol. What an angle. Fabulous finish. Dalakar and Chibol. Chest bump together. Slovenia's serve. Mozic sends it long. There were some nervous moments as they thought that one might have been 
Mozic's fourth ace of the game, but it will be Ishikawa to serve. 18 all second set. Ishikawa takes his time. Here we go. Pranasic with a good looking set. The spike wasn't strong enough, and Japan score behind the Ishikawa serve. That could make the difference in this second set. Ran with the final touch. Kovacic diving to his right. Couldn't sustain the point. Kovacic has decided to be the setter. But that wasn't a good decision in the end because the block was sensational from Japan. Ran, I think, his left hand doing the damage alongside uh, Yamauchi. Slovenia have taken another timeout. Here we go at the restart after the Japan timeout, after the uh, Slovenia timeout, and they score. Oh no, mistake, lack of communication between Ran and Yamauchi. Serve. Japan's two point lead is restored. 21 19 they lead. Yamamoto comes off. Japan leading by one set to nil and by 21 points to 19 in this race for second spot in the group. And a chance to qualify for Paris 2024. It's Japan's point. Question mark over it. But the referee pointed to the men in red. 22-19. Things shaping up nicely for the host nation. Late in this second set. Yamiuchi's serve. Planasic for replacement setter. That's off Japanese hands and away. Ziga Stern ready to serve. 29-year-old off the net. Japan with a chance to get to within touching distance of a two sets to nil lead. And they are two points away now. Twenty-three, twenty. Nishida. Too much on that. The door is ajar for Slovenia here.
Panasic serves. Ran looking for one and three, but it's from the back. Ishikawa. Set point, Japan. They're going crazy around the arena now. The serve comes up short. Slovenia are not out of this set just yet. Four twenty-two. Pan poised to go two nil up. They win three nil. They qualify for the Olympics, and they lead by two sets to nil. Twenty-five, twenty-two. Two thirds of the way there. Again, a sticky start to the second set for Japan. Slovenia open up an early three-one lead. And they got in front again before Japan came to life. They've taken the second set by 25 points to 22. The discussions continue, They're keeping their intensity. Keeping their levels up, not letting their minds wander. And Philippe Blain is just uh, interjecting as well. Let's see how the set ended. Nishida's left hand spike. He pointed to the floor. He knew it was in. Well, this has been a fantastic occasion so far. Noise levels around this arena, which holds 13,291 at capacity, have been extraordinary. Crowds have been great all week, but now it's the weekend, of course. There's a slightly different feel about it. Play began here last Saturday. Japan had a close win over Finland, 3-2. They lost on Sunday to Egypt, 2-3. There was a break on Monday. Came back on Tuesday and defeated Tunisia, 3-2. Two on when uh, three nil on Wednesday. It was Japan three nil winners over Turkey, and then on Friday they got it done over Serbia. Now they are poised to win three nil over Slovenia. But Slovenia, of course, have other ideas. So now we go again. The third set in this best of five. Panasic has kept his place as the setter at the moment. Third set about to get underway. Japan leading by two sets to nil. It will be Ishikawa to serve. Kovacic. Fired long, and there was a block touch on the ball, so Slovenia take the opening point of the third set. Just the faintest touch on the thumb of the blocker, but that's all that's needed. Point up, Sakita involved, backcourt attack, fired by... Yuki Ishikawa, he came steaming in, took off well behind the line, unloaded, unstoppable. Ishikawa, they're chanting his name again. Level. Down, it's got a cross here. Japan can go ahead, Sakita, oh yes, killed, stone dead by Taishi Onodera. He's a cool character, isn't he, Onodera? Don't see much in the way of emotion from him, but he enjoyed that. 
Yamauchi's son clips the net. And Mozic sends it home for Slovenia. Brock Mozic. Seven kilometers per hour. In fact, it wasn't Moses, it was. Uh, yes, it was Moses. I apologize. Timor. Banasic. Well, it's all pretty straightforward at the moment for Japan. They haven't had the same trouble early in the set that they suffered in sets one and two when they were immediately on the back foot having to launch a comeback they are matching slovenia side out for side out at the moment yuji nishida can he light up this third set kovacic sends that high here's the set from planasic underneath it at the back ishikawa yamamoto from the back that will go onto the corner. They, Yamamoto not prepared to take a risk, but it's Japan's point. They got there eventually. The long way round. Yamamoto was standing on the junction of the lines at the back. Didn't want to take a chance. The ball was going to drop in, so he played it. It was the right decision. Japan have a two-point lead for the first time. Nishida. Great from Kovacic. That was a brilliant dig from the Libero. Now a chance for Japan over the top. Slovenia queuing up to have a go at this ball. It's long. Japan stretch their lead. Slovenia in trouble now. Nishida. Third time. Nishida's served. A little bit too much on it that time. Sakita back behind the three meter line. Ran couldn't put it away. Ran goes back for the block. Ball is up. It's gone to Slovenia's side of the court. Easy finish in the end from Mozic. Slovenia side out. No, I beg their pardon. They didn't. They won that point behind serve, didn't they? And it is. Kine Urn out to serve for the second time. Slovenia closing the gap. Sakita's back set. Oh, glorious. Yuji Nishida. The set from Sakita. The width of the net. Yuji Nishida up the line between the legs of the libero. Too hot to handle. Kovacic involved. Great dig from him. That will be chased by Yamamoto. He's got underneath it. What can they do here? They've got to pass it back to the Slovenian side of the court. Still alive this point. Away it goes. Fantastic volleyball. They're chanting Ishikawa's name again. Ran involved too. Japan start to build some momentum now. Seven, four, three points clear. Change for Slovenia. Stalakar has come back on, number 10. Two hundred and fourteen centimeters. 
giant of a man. Sasho Stalakar. Kovacic. Dummy spike. Yamamoto. Oh, unbelievable pickup at the back of court. Lifted up by Sakita. Slovenia in charge of this point, and it's theirs. Wonderful theatre. Brilliant drama. Oh, ran with a, a bit of genius. How did he guide that back to a teammate? Mozic with the final hit. Sakita. Backcourt attack. Blocked. Rand comes up against the wall of Slovenian shirts and hands. The left hand of Jan Kozamanic providing the monster block. Georgi Kretu is unhappy about some positioning of the players. Slovenia have the point and one behind now. Dalakar. Here's Sakita. Nishida has missed. Slovenia are all square. Level at seven all. Missed by quite a bit. Now, a different complexion all of a sudden on this third set. So he's having to move up court to make contact with the ball. Flying pickup from Slovenia. Pan get involved, lift it up. Is that too many touches? The referee hasn't blown his whistle. He has now. And Japan are ahead. Japan laying their bodies on the line. Outstretched fingertips making contact with the ball. Seemingly impossible chances are, are picked up. This is fantastic to watch. Onodera is ready to serve. Sends the third ball in. Over the top and down. Nice finish from Kozamanic. Yeah, and Kozamanic with slightly unorthodox finish. Got away with it though. Eight all. Nine eight Japan. Mozic fly fires the serve into the net. And Georgi Kreitu is pleading with his players. Sakita, Masahiro Sakita serves. That's not ideal. Oh, they missed. Now, things are starting to unravel for Slovenia. They will be called for a timeout, I think, after this air shot. Well, it wasn't quite an air shot. No serious contact made. They're carrying on for the moment. Japan 10 8. Sakita will serve for the second time. Planasic far side. Corner. Well struck by Mozic. Reduces the lead to a single point. Rock Mozic guiding that one away with precision for a winner. Thick from Ishikawa. First serious mistake I think that Ishikawa has made in this match. He's allowed the two point lead, or they have allowed the two point lead to vanish, and they're 10 10 in the third set. Japan lead two sets to nil 25 21 in the first, 25 22 in the second. Sakita covering a whole lot of ground. That's more like it. Releasing Ran from the back of court. Sakita with a precision set. 
Run, fires it through the blockers and away. 115 kilometres per hour, that might be his fastest spike of the week. 11-10 they lead. Blocked out of play. Man, getting skin and bones on the ball, but pinged out of court from his left hand. Eleven all. Remember, if Japan wins three 0 they qualify for the games alongside the United States of America, who have topped the group. They are back in front after this little bit of magic from Yamauchi. And he's heading back to serve now. 12-11. Didn't start the game, Akihiro Yamauchi, but he's on now. Over the top. Block goes wide from Nishida. Slovenia keeping it tight here. Slovenia side out. Vanasic will serve. Where are they going here? Down the middle. Great move. Sakita keeping it short and sweet as far as Onodera was concerned. Onodera knew this was coming. And arrived with perfect timing. Thirteen twelve. Nishida's in for the next serve for Japan. Off the tape. Kovacic does well from the back. Blocked and in. No, 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 no. Sakita was celebrating. But it was right under the referee's position. He saw it, called it out. No challenge needed. 13 all. Burn out with the serve. Today's for run out. Slovenia are in front. Run out's first ace of the game at 110 kilometers per hour. Ishikawa could not control it. 14 13, Slovenia lead. Run out again. Flatters it into the net. Minimal damage. 14 all. Ran up next for Japan. Where's that going? Right to Japan's side of the court. Chance for Japan here. Far side. Again, it's high. Lifted up by Slovenia. It's close to the net. The back set has come back to Japan. And Sakita climbs. What a hit from Sakita, the shortest player on the court part perhaps from the libero and he rose with expert ability here what a finish from masahiro sakita timeout taken by slovenia we forget this one we forget this one this side of guys this side of anticipate where you are yep. okay go fast attention the ball is coming a little bit higher, but you can go there, okay? High. High. This, this side. Watch the shorter one. Watch the shorter one. There are a few Slovenian fans around, but they are very much in the minority. Japan have had a couple of big fight backs in this game. They are once again in front, 15-14, leading by two sets to nil. Good looking serve, it's an ace from Ryan. Oh, they love that. 
You've never heard a louder chorus of Ace Ace after Ran Takahashi sent this one beyond Kovacic. His third serve. Can he do more damage? It's another good serve. Kovacic from over his head. They're underneath it. Yamamoto did well. Sakita over the top. Panasic. Another look set and it's blocked but unsuccessfully. Slovenia get to within one. Oh, it's off shoulders and cheekbones and earlobes. No, it's been given to Japan. Japan have got the point and they lead 17-14. Unless that scoreboard is once again incorrect. Yeah, it must be because Slovenia have taken another time out. Watch the shorter one after the timeout and they go for the point. Haida, let's go. Japan are on their way. Three points clear now in this third set, leading by two sets to nil. Stalaka on. Oh, Mozic needs a bit of magic here. Kovacic has been brilliant. We went out with uh, an ace just a few moments ago. Now they're in trouble, though. Ran again. He's got another one. Oh, yes, indeed. Ran is playing the volleyball of his life here to take he and his team to the Olympics of 2024. Second ace of the game from Ran Takahashi. 18-14 Japan lead. That one long. Slovenia celebrate, but now they have to work. Now they have to come from three points down to try and overturn this dominant display from the host nation. Fifteen eighteen, trailing by two sets to nil. Ishikawa, Sakita, Ishikawa again. He's got it. Nineteen fifteen, closing in on the win and qualification now, Japan. There is served. Slower ball in from him. Slovenia's point. Ball was in from Mozic. Now Mozic is heading back to serve. He's there. One of their best servers. Three aces already in this game. They need him to produce another one or two here. It's long. Japan hit 20 points. Feels like the stadium will erupt if Japan win this game 3 0. Sakita served. That court attack. Long, long again. 21 16. A loose serve from Mozic. Then a misspike a miss from Mozic. Five points in front now, Japan on the cusp. Oh, it's an ace! Sakita gets himself an ace! <laughs> oh, they were all moving away from it. And down it went. 22-16. Three away now. From the back of court, rescue. He's got a cross, though. Nishida, Sakita. Nishida again. Unbelievable scenes here at the Yoyogi National Stadium. 
Japan have delivered a masterclass. Two points away from victory. Can Slovenia fight back in some way, shape or form here? They've got possession. Up it goes. Planasic trying to sort them out. Japan with a chance to go to match point. Machine is missed. Slovenia's point. They'll have to wait. Yuji Nishida failing to hit the target. What a run of serves that was from Masahiro Sakita. Including an ace. Slovenia side out finally. 17 23. They need some points behind serve. A whole load of them right here and now. It's a good dig. It's a great set. It's a brilliant spike. It's match point. Twenty-four seventeen. Yuki Ishikawa prepares to serve it out for Japan. Twenty-four seventeen. Ishikawa serve. Not quite. A groan around the arena, and then nervous laughter from the fans. Multiple match points here. Can Japan wrap this up as they receive the Slovenia serve? Which is long, it's over! Japan have done it! The 3 0 win they needed is secured. Japan are heading to the Olympics in Paris 2024 to join the United States of America. They've qualified. What a display. And the way the match started when immediately they were on the back foot in the first set in particular and again in the second set. Didn't let it happen in the third. They seized control of the third set early on and they never let their foot off the gas.